Well, good morning everyone. Here we are on to day two of our lovely trip. And today, it is currently just gone nine, but I thought I'd, oh that's bright, I thought I would uh, go and have a look. I've changed the uh, camera settings, so maybe we'll uh, get a bit of buzz, hopefully we won't. But anyway, I've got coffee. I'm going to have a look at this castle here and then we're going to wander into town and try and find some food because uh, I didn't get breakfast at the hotel because it was a late night one but check this out I'm going to be able to see you because of the sun but when I get past it you might be able to wow there you go that's called the Craig Derrick Castle that was my hotel. So this is pretty cool. Just gonna have a look at the little notice board. Pretty snazzy little place that. There you go, so apparently this was built by uh, Robert Dunsmuir, who came over from Ayrshire to uh well, he was a he was a miner, basically a mining magnate, but talk about that for a gaff. It's a fair old size. Apparently he died before it was completed, so that's a bit of a sad. But that's one of the biggest mansions apparently in Western Canada, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool thing to spot. Um, like I said, I had no idea that it was here. I just sort of, you know, it's like, oh, go and have a little bimble. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty cool. Some of these houses are quite nice. That's quite a nice little place there. Uh, anyway, as we were saying, got the coffee. We are heading now. Down in down into town. We've got some we've got the parking pass on the on the car, so we should be here for the rest of today. And pretty much the only things I've got to do today is I've got to wander into town. I've got to buy some uh, paracord and some bear spray because I forgot to do that yesterday um, when I was in the Bass Pro because uh, I was getting a bit overexcited with just how cool the Bass Pro was. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're off to go and get some. Get some bear spray and some uh, paracord and potentially some other camping equipment uh, just because basically um, the hotels and things here I want to say this actually everyone's telling me that Canada's really expensive so so far I've stayed in two hotels I've bought about a hundred hundred pounds worth of well, that's pounds not dollars of you know toys I was a sports store I was right um, of toys and shit um, at the Bass Pro and other than that I think I'm about 500 pounds in which to be fair you know that's not bad considering England like I said you, you would pay like 20 quid for a burger and a pint that's pretty standard unless you go to somewhere like a Spoons but I went to like I said, a nice gastro gourmet pub and it was 20 quid <laughs> for you know, a beer and a huge ass burger so to be honest I refute the uh, whole thing that Canada is expensive. I think it's actually fairly reasonable. It seems to be similarly priced to the UK, which, I mean, yeah, the UK is going through a cost of living crisis, so maybe that's just warped my uh, opinions of it all. But, yeah, I don't think it's that expensive at all, actually. The hotels are a bit pricey, um, but, you know, consider you're spending £100 a night anyway. You know, £100 a night is, again, pretty standard, uh, in my experience, travelling throughout the UK. So, yeah, but anyway, back onto my point. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to try and stay in campsites for the rest of the duration, or well, the duration of the time that I'm in um, Vancouver Island anyway, just because there's quite a few nice little trails. I'd like to go and have a little scamper around, and I, I bring all my kit anyway, so it seems a bit silly to not, not use it. Uh, like I said, if I can save uh, campsites like you know, $40 a night, it's like 20 quid, <laughs> and I get showers and obviously fire pits and stuff so might make a bit more sense doing that than uh, going to hotels and things so anyway that's the plan so yeah as I said first port of call is to is to get some food because I'm hungry and then we'll uh, yeah we'll go from there so I will uh, let's go a cool truck so yeah I'll, uh, I'll be in touch Crane. Wow. 
duty. Well, we just stopped in for a Tim Hortons, authentic Tim Hortons, actually in Canada, at a, uh, a farmer wrap, which is basically just a breakfast wrap but with hot sauce in it. Which, to be fair, I think it's got hot sauce, sriracha or something like that. It's actually quite nice. And a croissant, because uh, hungry as fuck. Uh, anyway, we are properly downtown. You can probably hear. Uh, I'm trying to get hit by a truck or something. I'm wandering around. But we're on the way to... That's a big truck. We're on the way to, uh, yeah, the outdoor shop. Hopefully we can try and pick some stuff up. But check this out. Look at the size of that lorry. Very cool. Anyway, I need to pay attention, otherwise I am going to get got. <laughs> so, I'll check it in a minute. Well, oh, that's nice. Oof. Someone's a uh, weed spraying over there and it smells bad. Uh, anyway, right, we are heading back to the car. Uh, plan is hit a Walmart. I picked up some bear spray and I picked up some paracord and some other bits as well, which is good. Um, so the plan now is to head over to a Walmart, have a little look around for a starter. And then we'll uh, organise the rest of the stuff, which I don't think we need, just need some water, I think, and some, maybe a towel, because I realised I didn't bring one with me. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's pretty cool. Uh, so we'll go do, go do that. And then it's heading over to Souk. Uh, there's a little campground there. Well, I'm not sure if they've got any space for uh, hammocks. I kind of expect they will do, because, you know, hammocks are pretty ubiquitous. Mind you, not, but it's really a major problem. I guess I could just find somewhere to go and string it up and call it a day, but the thing is, with camp campsites, they've got fucking showers and that. And if you're a big bloke like me, you smell. And so it's always very, very good having one handy. But anyway, so yeah, head over that way. Um, I may have accidentally fallen into um, a boot corral, which is a shop that sells cowboy boots, and I may have accidentally spent money <laughs> again <laughs> so uh, I'm now going to be on strict instructions to spend no more money unless I'm going to eat it or it's going to be important the frivolous spending is done so anyway yes yeah, so that's cool 
Um, to be fair, they are really nice. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's the plan. So we're just heading, heading back up now. We'll get back up to the car and then we'll uh, head off. We'll find somewhere to go. But anyway, I'll uh, get back to meandering. So I can really see why the Aussies call them Yank Tanks. Because that's fucking huge. <laughs> it's like a normal size Tivic there. Ridiculous. Genuine heater built. Western Star, look at the size of that. Oh, that ain't right. Jesus. I kind of feel like I've lost the fucking path. Definitely gone the wrong way here. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, there it was. Oops. Hidden by that fucking locust. Right, I'm going straight up again. Stuff and things. Well, we have landed. This is base camp. Uh, we're possibly sunny coast, sunny shores, something like that. I thought now would be yeah, as good a time as any. I think it was a cup of tea. <laughs> I am English after all. Uh, and probably go and have a little bimble, I think, over the, over the edge of the thing. Because uh, over there there's a nice big, uh, nice big sound, I think. Oh, it's, oh, it's pine tar, I wonder what that was. <laughs> Right, let's hope this works. It's been a bit temperamental recently. Hey! And then obviously we're going to go for tea bags that I brought specifically from England, my Cornish tea. Because you love my Cornish tea. And then we'll just be in the process of chilling out. Uh, but we made it over from Victoria here. It's quite a nice little drive actually. Spent most of it just chilling out. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, got everything all set up. Should be ready to be comfortable actually. <laughs> nice and quiet. I might get my computer out as well and actually edit some of the video from yesterday. Um, that might be a, a good thing to do, actually. Um, uh, and I'll take a picture of this. Go away, Mum. Fantastic. Oh no, I think getting caught in the pine sap. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, I bought some, uh, <laughs> bought some wipes. I'm trying to get that off. Anyway, to be fair, that's probably me done. I think I'm probably just gonna chill out and uh... Oh, these jet boils are so good. I'm probably just gonna call it a day, I think, chill out. Just take it nice and chill. So I've been on the go a fair bit recently, so... This might actually be quite nice just to calm down. <laughs> That is going to be all from me. I'll maybe check in later on tonight.